so here we are. So we're gonna start out from scratch. Um, you know, you can just do slash RTP. That's a command that's built into the server and you can randomly teleport is what that is, slash RTP or random teleport and you will go somewhere. Now you can see that it took me to this really, really cool biome. Um, oh wow, it's actually really pretty here. You're probably wondering, well, how in the world am I flying, right? How am I flying? Well, that's because I'm wearing something called power armor, okay? So and that's a that's a really good thing to start off with. So power armor. Um, if you hold shift over this power helmet, you can see that I have some installed modules, and you can access those modules using a something called a tinker table. And so let me go ahead and grab this tinker table, plop this down right here, and you guys can see that now I can actually tinker with my suit by clicking on it. And you can see all these different things. So on my suit, you can see that I've got like an energy force field shield here. I've got diamond plating. Uh, you can see I've got an auto feeder. Whenever you're hungry, this module will grab the bottom left most food item from your inventory and feed it to you, storing the rest for labor. Uh, you guys can see I have night vision. Uh, I have flight control. Basically, you're like Iron Man within Minecraft. So it's pretty awesome. Things like that, you know, j just that alone in the mod pack. It's just, it's just amazing, okay? You can actually bind keys to parts of your power suit. So right now, I have my equal sign set to night vision, so I can turn on night vision. For example, you see it's dark. I can turn on that night vision, now and I can see across this whole gorge here, which is pretty nice. And teleport across the water, you know, kind of move along here. So, whoa! So this here was probably somebody's base, and, um, well, it's not anybody's base anymore. So we can kind of explore and see what happened here. Um, yeah, pretty pretty crazy. I think this is a pretty good spot. We are in a wooded, wooded, very wooded uh, location here. So yeah, let's go ahead and dig straight down. Uh, my power suit will help me with staying safe, so I'm not gonna worry about normal Minecraft things. Uh, this thing called an atomic disassembler is like a really really fast pickaxe. Um, it requires power as well. Uh, we're gonna go and grab some of this ore just because I'm gonna need some things to get started here. I am gonna leverage a lot of my other resources just so that we can for the sake of time and speed so we're not like mining and doing all that boring stuff. Alright. And let's go ahead and get rid of all the junk in my inventory. And voila. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and light this place up uh, because it is quite dark in here. I do have night vision on my suit, but I won't be using any of that just so that we can kind of see. And kind of do this number, this number. Okay, so now that we have a little spot that we can call home. Um, like I said, I am on a little server here, so. So we want to go ahead and make sure that we can get back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and just do slash set home, call this video. And this is like our home location, okay? So get some food there, some hungry. So yeah, I think this is a good little starting point here for us, okay? Now, now that we have like a little spot that we can kind of learn in and kind of, you know, kind of do our thing here. Um, let me get this uranium out because I don't want that to harm me later on down the road here. Okay. So now that we have like a settlement and a little spot, um, one of the first things I want to show you guys is about some of the machines. So when you first start off on the server or with the mod pack, you're going to want to get a power source. The number one thing you're going to need is a power source. The reason why you want a power source is because everything in Volt is about power. And you're going to see why that's important later. So... In fact, let me go ahead and show you why you need power right now. Let me let me guys let me go ahead and blow you guys away here with this mod pack, okay? So let's break this off for just a second here. I'm gonna take this here. Okay? Let's go ahead and get this out the way. This is an energy cube. In the cube I have stored power of 97 megajoules. Right? Now obviously we need some cable and I'm going to hook this up to um, a machine. One of the machines called an enrichment chamber. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what does this machine do? Okay, so uh, obviously you can see that it took the power over here in the green 
and there's also one called Smelting Factory. Um, this one also has some power stored already in it, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, connect that to my power source, and now these have power. Now, you probably wonder why do I want that? Let me guys show you guys something. Let's say you have iron ore, and let let's go regular Minecraft here. Let's just go let's go old school Minecraft. Let's say you've got a little furnace right here. You've got um, let's see what else. You've got like a little crafting, you know, whatever. Let's say you've got this here, and you know, obviously you need coal. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna grab us a stack of coal. Put this in here. Boom. We're gonna put in one iron in here. Now, obviously, you can see that it is now smelting or furnacing uh, this iron ore, right? Basic Minecraft. Nothing fancy. This is how you get iron, make your armor, or whatever you need to do with it. Okay. I'm gonna just show you guys something better. If you come over here to the enrichment chamber, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put this one ore in here, and it's gonna do its process like we saw in the furnace. But notice what happens once it finishes. Check this out. It gives us two iron dust. We're gonna take that iron dust and you know, we can even put it over here. We can go ahead and smelt it right here. Now, it's gonna go through its process, its normal process. Notice what happens though on the output. An iron dust when smelted becomes iron ingot. But we got two. Did you notice that? So instead of me using one iron ore and getting one iron back in return, when you put that in the enrichment chamber, we got two for that right here. You guys follow me? Now, that's pretty cool. We're getting duplicate ores. Pretty nice, right? It gets even better, it gets even better. You see this enrichment chamber? See this little thing called upgrades? You can actually add upgrades. So let's go over here to speed. Put this in here. Upgrades. Put this here. And then the smelting factor is basically like a furnace. But you can only furnace one thing at a time. But this you can furnace multiple. You see these red ports right here? This is where you'll put in your ore. So check this out. This is where it gets really cool. Let's put in another speed. Set of eight. And when you put these speed modules in here, what it does is it literally makes the, the machine like two times more faster, three times more faster, four times more faster, five times, and so on and so forth. All the way up until I believe it goes like 10 times faster. Yeah, 10x times faster. I don't know if it's really 10 times faster. But uh, watch what happens now. I'll put this one ore in here. Look how fast that is. We got our two dust, put that into our smelting factory. Boom, we got two iron ore. Now you tell me that ain't faster. That's not more cooler, right? Let's do a test. Let's put this in. This should technically finish first, right? Because we're gonna start with this first. I'm gonna put this one iron ore in here and I'm gonna put in one iron ore in here. We're gonna grab this out, these two dust. Put this in here, turn on auto source so it does both at the same time. We got two with the same speed as getting one here. Technically, that's significantly faster, right? What if I put in a stack of 30 in here and I keep the 29 here? Put these in here. Look how much faster that is, right? Then you can come over here to side config. We can make that output, make this over here, input, and turn on the eject on auto eject on now it's sending that over here without me even touching it my hands are off it's doing all that while this over here has only got two irons but look how many irons we got over here we're now smelting at the speed of one or three irons over here we're getting you know 19 20 you know you know 4, 58 iron ingots in the speed they were still getting four. If y'all don't y'all don't find that swag, I'm sorry. You don't need to be watching this video. That, my guys, is why I play volts. That is why these machines are important. That is why this is 
This is the whole reason why I play this game. That's just like the tip of the iceberg. That's like 1%, not even 1% of the mod pack. These machines, obviously, they get better and better. You see this is called Basic Smelting Factory? Actually, if you go here to, you go, uh, oh, by the way, this is also part of the mod pack. So any item that you want, you can just look it up and see how to build it. You don't need to go out on wiki or anything like that. You know, you can figure out how to build it. You want to know how to build a piston? Type in piston. Boom. You can click on it. It tells you everything that you need to make a piston. You know, cobblestones, wood, whatever. If we look at the different smeltings, you have a basic, then you have an advanced, then you have an elite. Okay? So, actually, the, the first level is energized, then it becomes basic, then it becomes advanced, then elite. We're probably wondering, why, why would you want an elite over the basic? Well... Let's go back to the drawing board. So let's go to Elite uh, Smelting here. Go over here to this Elite one. And instead of me, I'm actually just gonna hook it up to what we got here. And then we're gonna go over here to this here, plop this here. Let's compare the basic to the Elite. In the basic, we have one, two, three slots to put in ores. But in the Elite, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's like double the the speed and obviously you can stretch that all across you know you can take all those ores and go all the way across and, and you're even significantly faster so as you guys can see i got all those ores uh smelted into these ingots now i didn't get the double because i did not enrich now you notice enrichment only has one port right just like the smelting factory and the machines you can also, they have tiers too as well, right? So you've got the Elite Enriching. That's what it is. I put Enrichment, but it's Enriching Factory. And this, obviously, I think I've got one. Uh, let's see if I got one. Enrich. Yeah, I've got one here. So we can use this as well. Place this. Now we've got ourselves some sweet machines. And now we can see we've got a whole slew of options there to put in multiple uh, ores. In fact, you can actually automate this entire process where you don't even need to go mining. Um, there are actually these things called laser drills. So laser drill, and uh, basically it will mine automatically. And then you can send all the ores that you mine into these machines and these machines can smelt it and then send it to a chest. Yeah, so we'll get into that stuff a little bit later, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick introduction to the mod pack uh, a little bit on why this mod pack is so interesting and yeah i hope you guys found this a little bit interesting and look forward to doing the next set of topics uh, in the next video see you guys